Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have a exciting uh, player review for you all. He was released last night. It is the Summer Heath Roberto Firmino player review. It's a card that I saw, I was excited for and I thought, you know what, this guy could be a phenomenal centre mid for me. I've used the screen one, one of my favourite centre mids to use all year. But, this Roberto Firmino, we won't be playing him at centre mid. We're going to play him in a more natural position which is a striker. So, you will see how good this guy is in game for me because don't worry, he was phenomenal. If you're a Liverpool fan, you will enjoy this review for sure. We have Dalglish in it as well. So a bit of a past and present, Van Dijk, Trent. The clips are from my stream. Link to the stream can be found in the description. So I apologize for the music showing on the bottom left, but you'll just see a few of the tunes we were listening to. You can also see the weekend league counter um, just because I did a different way of recording it. So hopefully it doesn't impair uh, your viewing of this review. Hopefully you guys still enjoy it. Let's not waste any more time. If you enjoy it, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more for 20 content. Let's just get into it, guys. Roberto Firmino, the Summer Heat 93 rated card player review. And he looks absolutely crazy, guys. It looks absolutely crazy. On the base card stats, 93 rated, 88 pace, 92 shooting, 90 passing, 95 dribbling, 70 defending, and 86 physical. I think a lot of people were disappointed with this defending because... I think they're envisaging using him at centre mid, myself included. I think his scream card has 80 defending, so for this one to come in at 70 is quite disappointing. The card costs around 400,000 coins, so it's a lot to be paying. You have to think carefully where are you actually going to be playing him and if it's going to be really worthwhile um, actually doing him. He's got high, high work rates, 5 foot 11, right footed, 5 star, 5 star. Gets the upgrade from a 4 star weak foot to a 5 star. Anyone who's played FIFA 20 knows that the 5-star weak foot is the most important thing to have in this game. And having him as a striker in the team that I did, he just performed so, so well. His in-game stats, 89 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. Another area where I think people really wanted him to maybe have 92, 93 pace, 97 attack positioning, 95 finishing, 90 shot power, 85 long shots, 90 volleys, 80 penalties, 96 vision, 81 crossing, 73 free kick accuracy, 96 short pass, brilliant, 85 long pass, 90 curve, 87 agility, 88 balance, 93 reactions, 96 ball control, 96 dribbling, 96 composure. Ridiculous. 66 interceptions, disappointing. 89 heading accuracy, good. 68 defensive awareness, again disappointing. 73 slide, stand tackle, 48 slide tackle. Not really good enough to be played as a box to box CDM in my opinion. 89 jumping, 97 stamina, 81 strength and 80 aggression. So really, really nice physical stats. I think the strength and aggression are a bit of a lie. I think he feels really, really strong in game. Trait wise, he just has the flair trait as well as some other CPU traits. So as an overall look of the card, you think looking at it, it'll be a phenomenal striker or a cam. As a midfielder, he would do well, but I think he might get caught out. But you know FIFA 20, you can probably play this guy at CDM. He'll play brilliantly for you. Probably put in a lot of tackles too. So if you really want to play him at CDM, I would go for it. It's just not somewhere that I have used the card so far. Guys, what we're going to do is we're going to get in some highlights. I'm going to talk over the highlights, talk about his pros, his cons. And I think it will just be a good way to sort of reflect on how this card did perform for me. Because I haven't used a Roberto Firmino card for a while now but it was a very enjoyable experience we'll give a review uh, we'll give a rating sorry at the end of the video let's get into the highlights so here we go then guys into the highlights that we did manage to get with the 93 rated summer heat Roberto Firmino and this is in the first game for me in the first five minutes he's done that I knew at this point that this card was going to be something special um, you can just tell you suddenly get an instant feel for the card Roberto Firmino when he's putting it into the roof of the net I'm like you know this guy is going to be incredible but we're going to go through his pros. Now, just let you know which formation we did actually play. I didn't mention that in the intro, but we played a 4-4-2. The instructions on Roberto Firmino were to stay forwards. Uh, for Dalglish, his striker partner, he was on a false nine. So I think Roberto Firmino would make a nice false nine. But I think Firmino, he's finishing. I wanted him close. I wanted him in the area. And this was his first game. He did go on to score four goals for me in the first game, which is unheard of for me, especially in foot champions, because uh, they're always tough games. But let's get into the pros. 5 star, 5 star has to be one of the best things about this card. I've got him next to Neymar, Dalglish, Bruno Fernandes new card. All 5 star weak foot players but having the 5 star skill moves just adds a bit of excitement to the game. Honestly the reason I did this card is because I enjoy using new cards in the weekend league. With him coming out, with having Bruno Fernandes, having two new players in the squad. I was like this is going to be a fun weekend. And with Roberto Firmino, I've played 5 games with the card now. We have not lost one and I knew it was going to be... An enjoyable card. I was literally saying in the stream, this guy, if you want to have fun on FIFA 20, go ahead and get Roberto Firmino. 
Finishing has to be a pro. 13 goals in five games. Guys, that is ridiculous. For me, who doesn't score a lot of goals, especially with one player, for him to get that many goals is insane. Um, but I have to talk about the assists, and we will talk about that in the cons. Only zero, uh, zero well, only zero assists. He got zero assists, so quite surprising for me, really. Um, but his finishing at 95 felt so reliable, so, so reliable, a lot better than the likes from Dalglish, things like that, who I actually think has higher finishing stat. I think the thing with Firmino is he has nice curve, he has the um, ability to go on either foot, he has the five-star skill move, so he's able to get in really, really good positions, and his finishing is top tier. Positioning-wise, he has the high, high work rate, so he does very well in game to get back and forward if you were to play him as a cam, but to stay forward as a striker, he does that brilliantly, and I think that's why I really, really got along with this card. Hope I continue to get along with him. I'm sure I will, but you can see. Look at the dribbling. That's nuts. Unlucky with the finish, but his positioning, spot on from the card as well. I, I think really, really good. Build up play as well, just like real life. Um, you can see that this guy is just brilliant at passing the ball, getting his teammates involved. I think his little touches around the box, bringing his teammates into play, is just like real life. So really enjoyed that about him. It's always good to have a striker who can do good build up play. Versatility, I've put that down, and I think versatility is true to an extent. You can play him as a centre mid, I think centre mid, box to box, he'll do really, really well. You can play him at camp. I wouldn't probably play him out wide, don't think he has the pace for out wide, but a lot of positions, so he is a versatile player. Dribbling, dribbling, honestly, I've, I love players that you can dribble with uh, in this game. Neymar, Modric, those type of players. Roberto Firmino is right up there. His dribbling feels so responsive when it's good gameplay. He's able to get past any defender on this game with just the LT, um, LT left stick dribble with a bit of the skill moves. Really, really good. The, the skill moves are so responsive too, so that's a really, really nice aspect of the card. Um, stamina is spot on. It's 97, so just checking there. I didn't think it was 99, but 97 pretty much is uh, just as good in my opinion. He'll be able to run a full 120 minutes in Sweaty Foot Champions. He's got decent short passing, very, very good short passing. That's why I said he could get involved in the build-up play. I think he should have had more assists, but he was playing nice passes, just unlucky with the finishes from my uh, te from my teammates, to be honest, from his teammates. I think that we he, we should have a couple of assists, definitely. I mean, he's playing it into Bruno Fernandes there. Just a bit of delay, to be honest. He played it into Dalglish there. Unlucky, he's offside, so he definitely could have had a handful of assists. His links are superb. Link to Mane, Virgil van Dijk, Trent, some amazing Premier League players, some amazing Brazilian players, such as Neymar. I think that that's really, really a quality aspect of the card. And you're going to play a bit of a, pay a bit of a premium because he is Brazilian from the Premier League, from Liverpool. That's why I think um, you, are, you are warranting that price tag. He feels strong too. He honestly feels strong. His stats don't really represent that he's such a strong player, but in-game, I found him to be very, very strong. Able to hold up the ball, able to bully defenders, to be honest, and I was surprised. I didn't expect him to have that stat about him. But those are the pros, guys. I'm sure there are a bunch of other pros, which I've missed out, but those were the ones that stood out the most to me. I would definitely say the finishing was his key trait for the pros. The downsides for the card, 66 inceptions, 68 defensive awareness. I think there's just something about him which I feel like a lot of people were disappointed with when this card was released last night because they wanted to play him in centre mid I've mentioned it before but if you're doing this card you might not enjoy him so much as a defensive unit I think you can play him as a CDM in a 4-2-3-1 if you're to play him next to someone who is really defensively sound like an Angolo Kante someone like that who is able to be really really secure for you at the back 85 long pass might sound daft but I think 85 long pass you could feel the difference between his passing and uh, Bruno Fernandez's passing Obviously, if you play him as a striker, he might not be able to. He might not need to do so many long passes, but it's just one of them things. I think that that's one of the areas which I would like to see get improved. And the pace, guys. The pace on this card. He could be faster. He he should be faster. It's a shame that he's not a bit faster because he won't really get onto the through balls that you're playing behind for your strikers. He's not that type of card. The card he is. You get him near the box. Do a bit of skill moves. Work the space and then you can shoot into the back of the net normally. It's going to be a goal with the card. He honestly felt so clinical in front of, front of goal. He could have had 20 goals. It was insane. He could have had 20 goals um, because he, he, he the gameplay, the gameplay guys. But it is what it is. 13 goals in five games is fantastic. And I really, really do think that he warrants the price. He, 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 is, he deserves you to complete him. Not deserves you to complete him, but I think you should complete him, guys. For 400,000 coins, if he fits your team, if you can play him as a striker, as a cam, as a centre mid, 
definitely go ahead and do this card. It's one of the more enjoyable cards I've used this FIFA. He brings the fun into FIFA 20 for me. I think any card with five star skill moves will do that. But this Roberto Firmino, having him in the team, felt fantastic. So as an overall rating, I'm going to give him a 9.5. Again, very similar to Bruno Fernandes. I think Bruno Fernandes and Roberto Firmino are on very similar positions. Both fantastic. I'm not going to pick one because they play different positions. I think Striker, you want Roberto Firmino. Cam, you want Bruno Fernandes. But Roberto Firmino's finishing is way ahead of Bruno Fernandes' finishing. Such great cards. Really, really enjoying the Summer Heat promo. If you guys are enjoying it too, let me know down in the comments what you are enjoying about the promo. Have you tested any of the new cards? Is there anyone you want to see reviewed on the channel? I think we've done most of the objective cards. I think we're getting a Cavani later tonight. Maybe we'll look at him. I'm not too sure what the appeal around the Cavani can be unless they're massively boosting. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. I'll see you all later for another FIFA 20 video.